Thanks, Cindy. I think he needs a Lorena Garcia baseball as well. Now, you've seen her on America's Next Great Restaurant and as a judge on Top Chef, and now you're going to see Lorena Garcia whip up cranberry cilantro brown rice from her new book, New Latin Classics, Fresh Ideas for Favorite Dishes. Yes, delicious. It smells good, right? Oh, it smells delicious, and the book is absolutely stunning. Thank Congratulations. you so much. Thank it's you. your debut book. Congrats. Yes, it is. It's my very first book, and what I wanted to do is, is portray and represent Latin cuisine as a culture and not so much as a style of cuisine. So you're going to see the food that everybody loves to make here right. in America with that twist of Latin cuisine. Oh, we love that. Okay, and for that, what I have today is a brown rice tossed with cranberry and cilantro. This is a great recipe mm. right now for the fall if you want to make it for Thanksgiving. It's amazing. And um, actually, you can make it with brown rice if you want or regular rice. And what look I at did, this. Look it's at so that. Beautiful. The color and the smell is really nice. What I did is yesterday for my meal at dinner, I made uh, jasmine brown rice. Okay. And what I did is, you know what, I'm gonna make a little bit more. So today, for my lunch, I have, I can make this. It's like a style of uh, fried rice, we'll okay. say, but in a healthy, in a healthy way. Oh, we like that. So, so there's a lot of flavor to it. A lot of flavor. So it will be better if it is from the day before, but you can actually make it and continue doing your recipe. Good. So we're gonna have a pot. What I like it is big enough so all the ingredients can marry together and can infuse the flavors. Ah, okay, okay? that's really good to know. High heat. A couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, olive oil, gotcha. Yes, and what I got is here garlic mint. Gar okay. Oh, garlic mint, mint. gotcha. And shallots. Shallot as shallots well. are a less. Um, pungent. They're uh, less pungent. They're, they're sweeter. I think it's like, I, I always say it's the cousin of the garlic. <laughs> the cousin of the garlic. I like that. That's a good way of putting it. Not right. the onion, the garlic. <laughs> so you see, you want to hear that sizzling now. When you cook the garlic and the shallot, mm. make sure that it's just translucent, okay? You don't want to cook it all the way. Okay, so should you keep it on like a medium heat then? Medium high heat. You're going to be able to just see translucent about one minute or two. Now, we're going with the rice. And you just put it all in there. We just put it all in there. And the great uh, thing about uh, jasmine rice, in this case, brown jasmine rice, is the aroma. Uh, when I was growing up in Venezuela, this is the smell that I used to get in my house. And you know, we're raised on rice. I mean, we will make rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> well, I could eat rice for breakfast, for right? lunch, and dinner. When I was coming into the studio, it smells so delicious. There's this warm, garlicky, shallot jasmine smell that's just delightful. Any, Absolutely. Any kitchen will smell delicious with Absolutely. this. Absolutely. And that's the idea of the book. Easy recipes that are accessible and they're practical. I yeah. mean, easy to make. Yeah, they're, this is an course, inexpensive recipe. Absolutely. And the idea, what I have in my dispensa, in my book, is I give you a, a list of ingredients. You know when you, you're in your house and in your dispensa, you use a quarter of a teaspoon of champagne vinegar and you never use it again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the idea, yeah. I did it purposely, is throughout my recipe you're going to find these ingredients throughout so you're able to use them more than so once. So you get certain ingredients, but uh, you use them. You don't use them one time. You uh, use them absolutely. on and on and on again. I have my, my very good friend, Mina in Miami. She said, Lorena, you know what I hate when you just have one ingredient, you never use it again. I said, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me make sure that, you know, those ingredients that I give you in my dispensa are used throughout the book. Do you, when you're on the, when you're on the show, America's Next Great Restaurant, yes. do you tell some of the, you know, the contestants your idea? Ideas and what you do. I mean, do they well, take advice like, from you? What I like to do is, is really mentor them, right? Uh, and, and the idea is that you want to make sure that they are successful in their ideas. And you know, I've been in the industry for so many years. I have bunches rest restaurants, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody had a fair chance. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, yeah. so, okay, so okay. check it out. It's already very warm and almost broken, right? Because we saute them. Very fragrant. Now, as many cranberry as you want. I like a lot of them. A lot of them. <laughs> and cilantro. You know, people, I'm Lorena Garcia. I love cilantro. <laughs> I always say that yes. if the recipe doesn't come for cilantro, You're I'm not sure. going to make it. <laughs> so you do a little bit of a toss. Okay. Can I try that? Of course. You uh, want to make it? I, I don't know that I, don't know that I won't make a mess, but there you yeah! go. <laughs> Very and that's fun. it. A little bit of salt. Okay, salt and pepper. And I'm going to let you guys know that this recipe for cranberry cilantro brown rice will be at daytimeonline.tv. And also, you can get Lorena Garcia's new book, uh, New Latin Classics, where books are sold as well. Check it I'm out. I'm going to taste this. Mm. It looks beautiful. What would you serve this with? Uh, a roasted chicken, mm. a beautiful turkey breast, meat, I mean, anything you want, really. This rice is super versatile. You can make it anytime. Oh, Lorena Garcia, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, my love. My pleasure.
Anybody Delicious. else wants a little bit more? Delicious. You do. <laughs> Everybody wants more.